So in the second episode of Commerce and Culture, Paul Cantor talks about Shakespeare's theater. So towards the beginning of the episode, he quotes a lady uh, who, who says something to the effect of it. It's not exactly this, but she says something to the effect of if Shakespeare had been in the commercial setting that we have now of entertainment, then he wouldn't have been able to produce the plays that he did in, in his time. But Cantor uh, conversely talks about how Shakespeare was very much commercialized in, in the market that he was in, um, but it just looked different maybe than what we perceive of it now. Um, so he, he showed how playwrights in Shakespeare's day were probably a lot like uh, uh, screenwriters that we have today in movies. So, you know, when we're going to see a big movie, what do we normally look at? You know, it's it's usually more of actors probably. You know, those are the big names that they advertise with. They advertise with actors, maybe directors or producers, um, but not as often do you see uh, the screenwriters as the big push for it. Sometimes you do, but but not often. And he points out that that was probably also the case in, in Shakespeare's day. Um, usually the playwrights <clears throat> were not the big names. Uh, but because Shakespeare was had become more and more commercialized in, in the settings that he was in, he became that. Uh, he became this playwright that was well known and, and people might start to say, oh man, that play is by Shakespeare. Uh, maybe that's something that we want to uh, watch be just because of his name. Uh, so that's how much he had gotten involved in that market um, in, in the places that he was at. He wasn't just this lone writer uh, in an attic writing all these uh, incredible plays. And, um, and he's still known today as you know one of the most intelligent men in history. Um, and Cantor points out that it's impossible to know whether, um, you know, whether if, if Shakespeare had been in more of a setting uh, that didn't have marketized or commercialized setting, if he would have done better or had more success or, or, or written better content, I guess. Um, but by his life, we can see that that marketized system at least didn't hinder him. Um, like I said before, he's, he's still seen as one of, one of the most uh, intelligent men in history, one of the, um, I mean, for sure, one of the best playwrights in history. Um, and a lot of that came because of the, the commercialized uh, way that he was involved with, uh, with the market and, and with others in the business that he was in. Um, so we can't tell for sure what the difference would have been, um, but at least didn't hinder him. Something else that I found incredibly fascinating was uh, Cantor has an, uh, explains more of uh, kind of the culture of Shakespeare's day. So uh, sometimes when I think of people who are, you know, really into Shakespeare, I think of the, the couple who are drinking a glass of wine on their terrace watching the sunset. Um, but in Shakespeare's day, that's not what his kind of profession looked like. The theater was... Um, I, I mean, it was really more the pop culture of the day. It was, it was seen, you know, it was put outside the city. It was more the rebellious way of, um, uh, you know, a rebellious uh, occupation, I guess, to have because uh, it wasn't that mainstream thing. It, it was more that it was, it was the pop culture, the rebellious side. Um, so that, that was just really interesting because I think oftentimes that's not how we perceive Shakespeare. We have this high culture mindset of him and that we think that's what it was in his day as well, but it, but it really wasn't. Um, there was a lot more of the podcast, and it was incredibly fascinating, and I highly, highly recommend listening to this one, because uh, there's Cantor just has a ton of history on the subject. You can tell that he studied a lot in it, um, way more than I could hope to include in this short video, um, but I definitely recommend checking it out, and it makes me really excited for listening to the rest of his podcasts.